This is NBC6, South Florida Today. In today's health happening, you clean your kitchen, wash your floors, vacuum your rugs, but does that mean you really have a healthy home? Hmm? Well, not necessarily. Environmental scientist and toxicologist Simon, is it Hasse? Hasse, yes. Hasse from ARMD is here to explain, Lottie, how we can spot and remedy indoor pollution. Hello. Hey, good to be here. You're, you have an Irish accent? That is correct. How long have you been over in the States? Been here for seven years. And you are a toxicologist? Yes, an environmental scientist. Okay, so you know of what you speak? Yes, for sure. And um, we study it all the time. We think we have clean homes, do we? Yeah, we actually don't. And um, the public is not aware of the fact that indoor environments are extremely polluted. If uh, the U.S. EPA states that the Environmental Protection Agency yeah. states that indoor environments are five to twenty times more polluted than the outdoors. Now that's a significant statistic because the awareness among the public is not there. And the EPA takes uh, great measures to monitor the amount of atmospheric pollutants outdoors, but they're not able to do that in an indoor environment because each home environment is different. But so if we dust and we vacuum and we clean the other surfaces and, and so on and so forth, doesn't that get a lot of it? That's traditional housekeeping. But if you look at those activities, they actually can introduce, reintroduce those uh, pollutants back into the atmosphere. So what do we do, Sim? Okay, the best way you can do it is try not to um, introduce um, pollutants into the home. For example, if we look at two parameters in an indoor environment, respirable particles as well as um, or volatile organic compounds, um, we can control those and how they um, cause negative impacts in an indoor environment. For example, if we burn candles yes. right, and we don't use low soot emitting candles, that can introduce a lot of particles into the air. If we introduce furniture that is not, produced, uh, is not manufactured using low VOC volatile organic compound uh, materials, then they can, off -gas ga they can off gas chemicals into the air. So how we choose what we introduce into our home can control the actual pollutants that are present. But how does one know if, for instance, we have these low um, chemical emitting candles or you know, our sofas yeah, and other kind of soft furnitures don't have these chemicals of which you speak? Well, what you can do is before you choose to introduce a piece of furniture, you can check to see if they are um, if they have a low VOC um, certification associated with them. If you introduce new carpeting, if you go to the Carpet and Rug Institute, they'll show you manufacturers of carpets that um, in, introduce lower amounts of VOCs into the air. You know, people say, well, gosh, you can't have anything these days without checking before or checking after. Right. But there's so many illnesses that we really don't know the causes of. Most if definitely. If you can reduce these types of pollutants, why not try? Well, we should. It should be part of our everyday life. What we need to do is be aware, first of all, okay, of what it is that we, how we behave in our indoor environment. After that, we should have periodic monitoring of our homes so that we can establish a baseline of the condition of our home. How do you do that, the monitoring? Monitoring, you actually hi can hire a company that will come in and do um, a whole host of testing to get and establish a baseline. And from there, they should be able to make recommendations to you on what you need to do to change behaviorally what you how you conduct yourself in the home. Is that what AirMD is all about? That is what we're all about. So um, we have, we're a science-based company that allows um, that when we go into an indoor environment, we will uh, conduct a range of tests and we will measure um, all the different atmospheric pollutants indoors right. and then provide recommendations for the homeowner and how they can change to have a healthier indoor environment because well, that's what we're about. It certainly would be a, a great thing for people who have children with allergies. Almost definitely. Yeah. The amount of children um, with allergies and asthma are on the increase yeah. in young children. So we need to be able to try and control those things that can trigger allergies and asthma. Simon, how much does it cost for your company to come in, do an analysis, and give you the report? Uh, depending on the type of evaluation, anywhere from $189 up to $389. Well, I tell you, it's well worth it if you have suspicions, particularly if your child is getting sick. And my goodness, we all know about the toxic mold that right, we've had exactly. a problem with here in South Florida ever exactly. since Andrew. So well worth it. Uh, for more information on Air MD, log on to our website. You know it. It's NBC. NBC6.net and click on as seen on NBC6. Simon, thank you so much. Thank you.